Bahraini woman smashes Hindu religious idols. In Manama, Bahrain, a woman in Bahrain has been charged with criminal damage and publicly insulting religious idols after she was filmed smashing Hindu statues. The 54-year-old woman uh, was summoned for questioning after a video appeared on social media showing her picking up statues one by one and smashing them angrily while asking the shop worker, this is a Muslim country, right? Why is this here? Does Hamid bin Isa, who's the king of Bahrain, accept this? Um, she will face charges for intentional criminal damage as well as publicly insulting and desecrating items associated with a religious faith, uh, Bahrain's interior minister said. So we chose this news because this was highly requested by a lot of our fans and communities. So thank you for bringing this to our attention. Um, and I want you guys to guess why I'm pissed off at this news. It's pretty obvious, but um, yeah. What what do you think my, my problem with this news is? Hmm. Well, of course, religious, uh, like she should have the freedom to destroy religious idols. If, what? Uh, she, those are her personal problems. Yeah, my, my, my problem is that she was arrested for, um, let me wait, what, what, what did I say it was again? Um, yeah, pu publicly insulting and desecrating items associated with a religious face, not for property damage. Oh, okay, okay. It Here, should be I... pr property damage, not basically blasphemy. Right. You're right. She got arrested for the wrong reason. Yes. She got arrested for blasphemy. What? She got arrested for blasphemy? Against really? Hindus, which was interesting. Yeah. I mean, there's a huge population this of Indians in Bahrain. To... So, did she get? Did she got no um, charges for just property damage of something that she doesn't own? Like, was that not added at all? It was just blasphemy. Um, I will take a second look at the article, but that was not the impression. Well, I, got. I don't know. Did did she pay for those statues later? No, because if like she I'm paid... playing it. No, no, no. Look, I'm playing it. I'm going to describe this to people who are just listening without looking. Okay. She just, I actually was watched this video. She went, she goes to the shelves on the store and they're like, you know, selling these. What is this? Is this Ganesh? It's Ganesh? It looks like it. I can't see it clearly. Yeah, it's, Ganesh. it's the elephant head. It's Ganesh. I can see it yeah. clearly from here. Oh, really? No, thank you for the. Okay. Okay. Again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you. Ganesh. Yes. We know Ganesh is elephant head. We're not that. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Move uh, on. Yeah, but she just moves on. She just moves to these um, Ganesh statues and she picks them without paying for them and she starts breaking them one by one, right? But by the way, this is what Muhammad did with the idols in Kaaba. Yeah, so that's Sunnah being, as fuck. This is Sunnah. Yeah, this is Sunnah. She's doing <laughs> This is completely Islamic what she's doing. Uh, she, she Did she like, was she turning, considered like a hero um, among Muslims? Oh, Rivka is doing. Rivka wants to say something. Rivka. Well, she is facing charges of uh, intentional criminal damage, Ooh, okay. as well as publicly insulting and desecrating items associated with a religious faith. So she's got two things. She's not charged with insulting a religion so much as desecrating the items, but insulting it through desecration. But she is also being charged with criminal damage, which would be just the breaking and creating this ruckus and doing this to this guy's store. But then the um, advisor to the king, uh, Khalid bin Khalifa, tweeted that breaking the religious symbols is not the nature of the people of Bahrain. It is a crime of hatred and it is rejected. In Bahrain, all religion, sex, and people coexist. Whoever does this is a stranger and not one of us. Okay, so t I think our position should be that we should be defending her because the ju the the crimes should be property damage, right? Well, she was and charged with essentially property damage, but only property damage. No, I agree. Yes. So I'm yeah. saying, as people who are in support of blasphemy, right? We think that the charges should be property damage and nothing but property damage, and uh, the justice is doing is the justice system is doing its job when she gets uh, um, 
punished for property damage, but the added charges of blasphemy sh or insulting people's religious whatever, those should be removed. So I think as people who support, who think that blasphemy should not be a crime, we should support this Muslim. I mean, again, I'm not supporting what she did because we've, if I support her for uh, in a way that I only want to support her in the sense that she should the blasphemy charges should be dropped. I don't want to support. I'm not saying what she did was right because I do think she should get charged for property damage. But I think our position, but that's already happening. So we don't need to. Given that she's already being charged for property damage, we don't need to do anything. But given that she's also being um, charged for blasphemy, I think we should defend her. And be like, yeah, you should you should drop the charges of blasphemy. Like, what the hell is this, right? What do you, Rivka? Well, I think that yeah, she definitely should be charged for damage. What she did, she ruined this property. And I don't agree with the idea of charging someone with insulting religion. And so I agree with that. But she's also a double edged sword because she's also saying terrible things about Hindus and. I, not that she shouldn't be allowed to think what she wants, but it's just interesting because she's espousing bigotry against another religious group in favor of hers. And she's asking like the other guy, aren't you a Muslim? Isn't this a Muslim country? As if she's saying like, we all should be doing this. So it's just an interesting conundrum with this person because I don't think she should be charged with insulting religion and I also think she's free to hate anyone she wants to but it's also interesting because she's trying to kind of incite these other people into agreeing with her so it's this yeah. very interesting social experiment almost happening like how do you deal with these situations and what happens and how people I don't know. I just was commenting on all of it. Yeah, I know. But again, I I don't. I'm not saying that what she even if it's. I mean, even if she is inciting hate against Muslims, which I don't know if she, or Hindus, if I don't know if she was, that shouldn't be. I mean, hate speech is protect should be protected by free speech, anyways. Right? And I said but that I, yeah, before. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. yeah, I know you did. I'm just I'm just saying that as well. Um, but let me just read the top comment. Hold on. So yeah, again, even even if she's if she was being a dick about it, like I watched the video, she was like, she was so rude. She was putting the 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 guy, the guy, the store owner's beliefs was being challenged. It was like, aren't you a Muslim? Why the why are you selling these? Right? Like the guy was like, I just I just I'm just working here. Like, I say, can I go home? I don't I don't get paid enough for this. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> like you're tech fearing me on camera in front of everybody. For I just real? <laughs> I just want to pay my family, get paid to feed my family. Like, okay, don't be uh, a tech fearing kids. It's like not cute. So people deal with Karens, right? But imagine dealing with a Karen that is basically putting your entire religion in, into question in, in a Muslim country, and you're like, I like that is like Islamic Karen, like oh, like that is the consequences of that is a lot, a lot so, worse, right? What's so the Islamic store... Karen, Khadisha? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What, what would you be? not know? Like I don't know, yeah. Rachea. I don't know. I'm trying to think yeah. of some crazy one. Uh, uh, that's, we gotta come right. up with these good names. Yeah, but let There's me let me actually hold on. Let me actually highlight. The... The, wait, hold on. Let me actually highlight the top <laughs> comments. As um, Ananyo, Ananyo is saying, send her to China. She is the one who can speak against Jinping. Oh, Jinping, stand with e eager, and then she might get what? This is not good, guys. I don't know. This is dark. This is I don't know. I don't like that. Uh, Milan is saying maybe she she thought they're piggy banks. I don't know what these. Okay, these are not good comments. <laughs> these are not good comments. Anyway, show up. I should have just let you speak. Go on. Yeah. So this also the fact that uh, like Indians make up the uh, largest migrant uh, population in Bahrain, and that Modi donated four million dollars to Bahrain just last year. To renovate a temple and there's this kind of relations so they particularly want to appease the hindu people over there so they kind of have to do it like to appease them or i don't i don't know like 
their relationships with india might be like a problem or something so i just wanted to mention that right um wow soraya doesn't know what karen is in the live chat um okay here Ethan is saying Karen is a Muslim girl name and it is it is an Arabic originated name with multiple meanings. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, so we could just call her Karen. Um, Kabira ta- Karen, big Karen. Takfiri, Takfiri Karen, which is the most dangerous kind of Karen. By the way, but <laughs> it, 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 another thing, another thing to point out is that again, you see that not it's a good reminder to people that not all Islamic countries are alike. Like in Bahrain. Which is in Islamic countries, you're allowed to sell Ganesh, and the person that is destroying Ganesh is, is going to in an Islamic country is getting, no, sorry, it's not in Bahrain. Wait, was it in Bahrain? No, never yeah. mind. Okay, was it? Yeah, it was in Bahrain. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Bahrain. Okay, yeah. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me get. It. I was, I was right. I was right. So, she, the person that is destroy that is blaspheming against Hinduism is getting charged by an islamic country right this is like a, a lot of people just assume like when they think about the islamic country they think like everything everywhere every islamic country is like saudi arabia okay in saudi arabia try selling a ganesh in saudi saudi let alone getting punished for breaking a, a ganesh like if you don't break a ganesh you could like uh, you could get in trouble in saudi arabia let's see and these are very close like go, uh, gulf arab countries right and they're both Islamic countries. In one of them, you could technically die, get killed by a government for even introducing, for even promoting, you know, something like the Bible or a Ganesh. Another one, you get charged for blasphemy for breaking a Ganesh. So there's a huge difference. Okay, so just re- remember that. Um, but again, the the most Islam just because different Islamic countries act differently, and just because the most Muslims act differently, that doesn't mean as we the as Islam itself as a religion is very clear on who's doing the right thing. Okay, Islam as a religion is very clear that this Bahraini woman who was destroying the statues, she was on the right side when it comes to uh, what is Islam, what is Sunnah in Islam. Right. Anyways, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh look, oh they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like. No, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 